Howdy cowdies, hope you're going good, hope you're keeping warm, it's been freezing, but we've been busy, we've got heaps of cool stuff in the auction this week, got some World War II medals, I think, which were awarded to a, a lady, all the paperwork's there with them, nice little box Chevy Corvair die cast, we've got a nice Strathern paperweight, some really nice gold watch and a little BB, Nine carat gold button there or badge for the Bing Boys in Melbourne. A little 18 carat gold um, pendant, which is a little calendar. I think it's the 23rd or 24th of December with a little diamond in there. Got some cool badges, VRC membership medallion, little Victorian paratroop association. This little sterling silver enameled rifle brigade militia or something badge. Um, some lovely little pair of Gillesche enameled Norwegian silver candlesticks. You got the Tryan Great Spider. Even though we know he's a grass, he looks like a grasshopper and he's only got four legs, but he can't fight the system. Really nice sort of 1930s necklace with a big flat link chain. And a nice little heart shaped novelty cigarette lighter with a really nice cigarette holder. MCC medallions. There's some great hop along Cassidy, Cassidy badges and stuff in that group. Some Wacky Walker cereal toys and some other stuff in there. We've got some other nice things. A loathsome and offensive brute, yet you cannot look away. <laughs> Good old Kramer. It's got the text across the bottom. Cool bit. Great little Art Deco side table's really nice with the glass top. Nice little lead light display cabinet. Victorian cedar toilet mirror. Little Victorian cedar console table. I like this little octagonal table with the inset marble top. Sort of quite a nice sort of light stained oak. A uh, nice little portable typewriter. Got some cool toys. Lego, Tonto, 8mm Tom and Jerry. Remote control car that works. And then we've got fishing reels and rods and stuff. We've got some nice vintage ladies clothing, some fur coats. This Astrakhan one's an absolute ripper. Little kangaroo fur as well, oilskin coats, there's stuff over there, and some more things here, there's some nice bits in the jewellery cabinet, little bullet shaped cigar, uh, salt and peppers are nice, you've got the original Darth Vader money box, some nice little brass door knockers and stuff, a couple of cool pairs of the old cat's ice glasses, I think one of them needs new lenses, got a lot of footy gear, including the little mouse and the Fitzroy footy club jumper. Car badges, Holden Bonnet badge, Super Pursuit Ford badge. There's this nice, um, I think, Queen's Visit here or Coronation badge to go in the grill of your car. 50 Series desk chair, black leather. And there's another one of them. Nice big watercolour by Alan Hicks. This is pretty cool, the wine rack there with all the old crates repurposed as the top. There's some things down there. That's a hammock. Yeah, so we've got a little lot of furniture. We've got a nice big pair of the brown distressed leather Natuzzi couches with a nice little Moran footstool or ottoman to go with them. There's a little bit of a nick in it here or there. But, you know, most people call that patina. And also we've got a cool pair of Fleur. I think they're called Fleur Home. Fleur Home chairs they're in great condition swivel the foam and the headrest is starting to go the backrests and the seats look to be okay there's a little nick here or there but it's pretty good considering i really like this the big cast iron douglas gas saver it's over it just sits over a hot plate and you've got an oven and the big brass foghorn i was wondering where leghorn is but i'm figuring the chicken hawk got him now this fantastic bit's got the badge here made by Tyron, I think, in Sweden. And this is a great little bit, the little water boiler or something like that. It's got his little badge on the side. Two nice big heavy cast iron sort of cauldron and the big pot as well. Another 50 series office chair, some Italian design. Can't remember the name. All I remember is 50 series. <laughs> Uh, some brassware, camera gear, another nice little portable typewriter, instant collection of brass candlesticks, nice lot of EP. There's some nice bits in amongst the water pot with the mask there, 
Nice big wine bucket. Uh, more books, ephemera, fishing gear, a clown painting, spoons. Retro China, some more records, some more records. Some nice paintings this week. Big Joe Hannon oil top there, 1990. European oil, which is really quite nice, actually. It is signed here, but it's very hard to make out the signature. Uh, this is nice oil by Roy Griffiths, Coastal Scene. And we've got these two big, cool Frank Minconi, 2005, big graph oil paintings on canvas. What else have we got? The Tribal Collection, so the breastplate there and the big string of the shell money. A nice Jasper Conran bag, good camera gear, more records, Red Man Muddy Waters, which is a double LP green vinyl, 2020 reissue, cool Johnny's LP, highlights of a dangerous life, and there you go, the cover there works, but there is damage, there's a rip in the cover and it looks to be a little bit water damaged as well, <laughs> great album. The Kiss mugs are fantastic. Good little lot of die casts. Some more die cast petrol tankers. Nice little chip carved watercolour from the 1930s. Some signs. More cameras. These are cool. A little disposer cap. There you go. Little sort of hats to wear when you're working at some food stall or something. Cadbury's Chunky Chocolate Bars. They're pretty cool. Some 45 RPMs in their folders. A nice little live brass working steam engine. Cameras. Good pair of military binoculars with the DD marks. Deco Nouveau. Hey. Hong Kong Fui. Faster than the human eye. Very cool old cartoon. We've got the thermos with the drumming bunny in his box. Ancients Abroad Mark Twain book. Little box of sort of marbles and watches and stuff. The private collection sign. Pretty cool. The Stratocaster copy, the green and white 7-up colour. Cool thing. No branding on it or anything. RAAF slouch hat. Nice collection of European etchings. Erte print. More cameras. Some nice little dolls. A couple of old biscuit tins with the paper labels. Nice collection of glass. Nice collection of Dalton. Crystal. A wedge. Of swans, which does make sense when you think about it. Glass and crystal, some more tribal bits, pair of Nike Australian Olympic issue runners, but I think one of the little eyelets is broken off on one of them, unfortunately, but you can still do them up. Radio there goes with a little lot of China, the Bunnikins, which has got a chip, but it's quite an unusual pattern, I think, the family portrait or something, it'll be called. Uh, some jewellery, some more what? Uh, uh, pff, cameras, <laughs> nice big lot of postcards, some fantastic sort of pin-up girl sort of magazines and books. Uh, Bunny Yeager, she was a model turned photographer. Her stuff's pretty cool. This is a nice little collection of postcards in this album with some religious pictures, some brass sconces, a little DD marked tin with a first aid kit in there and some gramophone needles as well. Coasters and stuff. Beatles Australian EPs in Great Nick. A couple of folding cameras. This is cool. The modern Flying V guitar-shaped fly swatter. Oriental items. You can see there's damage on the lid. Brassware, blushware, brassware. Little mix lot, including my favourite two bits of the auction. A miniature toilet <laughs> and a miniature wash basin. All right, fish, fly fishing rod, split came with some nice reels, nice bits of sort of 1980s does deco, big, heavy crystal. Vincent Ritchie, a couple of nice bits of Australian studio pottery. The barware, nice little lot of English. Yar. Look at all their buccaneers on their buccaneers. <laughs> Brass oriental stuff, a nice old doll, good collection of Dalton. Some nice little door knockers, bobbleheads that I think both are damaged, but you've got some spare little hats and sort of bowls and stuff that they should sort of be holding. Uh, this is a ripper of a bit, I reckon. Little, a vintage little concertina Valentine's Day card. 
pretty amazing little thing. Um, Indian carnival glass. It's a bit unusual. Can't recall seeing too many bits of that before. Mindy in her box. A couple of nice Edwardian plasterware figures. Nice little collection of Susie Cooper. Little part tea set for two in the cabinet plate as well. And then what do we got down here in the end cabinet? A nice big stack of old Phantoms from like number 514 onwards. Ripping old Ericsson telephone with all the bits and bobs to go with it. It's in fantastic condition with all the pinstriping and stuff still on it. This is a nice bit from 1855, like an Anglo-Indian sort of silver metal thread sort of crest. Nicely presented in the frame, actually. Um, some mammy gear, the shortened and bred sheep music, and a great little tea cosy cover. A couple of nice bits of English art pottery, the water jug there, and the nice Denby vase. Boudoir lamp, art glass. Like this big 1980s Japanese vase. It's very good quality. I think this stuff gets overlooked. This is a great little watercolour. Um, it's someone's, but I think it's Benjamin D. Stone, TSS Hobson's Bay, 1927. It's a great little watercolour pencil drawing. It would have been part, but it would have been a little place that they stopped in the boat on the trip. I think the boat was going from Fremantle to London or something like that. A um, couple of bits of Worcester. Nice bit of Jean... Oh, what's that bloody name? Jean somebody. I can't even read that. I don't even know why I'm trying. It's a nice bit. If you collect Moorcroft, that'll sort of go in amongst it. You won't really be able to pick the difference. or oh, you will, but you know what I mean. Nice little Comport, I think, made for a Melbourne store. Thomas Webb and Son Melbourne or something. Nice silver-mounted perfume bottles, trinket boxes. Amphora jug with, put with the nice Dittmar Urbach Alienware Comport. Little Susie Cooper Grey's Pottery Vase. Stocking at Dolls Cute. Another nice boudoir lamp. Maureen Williams Australian Art Glass. You got this nice bit of manganese glass. So it glows like uranium glass under a UV light. I'm quite sure it's manganese rather than uranium. There's a lovely pair of Japanese Clasone vases. No damage in great condition. Nice big, another Carnival Glass Kookaburra Bowl. This is a slightly smaller size than the one we had last week. And the 1966 Stakelda Grand Final footy record, which is in pretty good condition. I think the Who's Kicked Goals and stuff has been marked in there. I think we took photos of everything that was written in the actual book. Great thing. And if you're into St Kilda, I'd be all over this because I'll never win another one. <laughs> what a bastard. What a bastard. No, they'll be all right. They'll have another one pretty shortly, I reckon. But anyway, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. See you on tomorrow night.